Chess friends, in an extraordinary chess battle, the new Stockfish 17 beta, boasting a performance of around 5000 LO, clashed with Torch against me, this remarkable game will serve as a rich source to teach various chess strategies and tactics. Never let the fear of striking out keep you from playing the game, let's go, I started the game with c4, we have e6 knight, c3 a5, black can choose d5 bishop to b7 bishop b4 which is why I grabbed the center with e4, bishop here knight f3 and torch played bishop to b4, black is threatening to capture the pawn after capturing the knight, any normal player would think of playing d3 queen c2, these moves are not bad but I played bishop d3, placing a piece in a superior square to improve its development first. So after knight e7 knight e2, playing castle isn't the right move to consider because a3, bishop to d6 e5 bishop c5 and before can trap the bishop, you will lose a piece in the opening so black played knight c6, a3 bishop to d6 to protect that square, bishop c2 with the idea of playing d4 e5, torch strikes in the center with f5, it is a nice tactical idea to improve the kingside as well, my bishop pair requires multiple moves for activation on the kingside, constituting an advantage for black. Before by me knight to e5 to target the e-pawn, so after doing knight exchanges and after some moves, I played castle, I get an advanced structure in this dominant center as the black bishop struggles on a weak diagonal, the move g3 might trap the bishop and my potent bishop pair becomes a forceful attacking asset on the kingside, so knight g6 f4, I aim to play d5 to establish a solid center structure, with bishop b3 and knight d4, I can target the pawn. Applying pressure using both the bishop and pawn threats, so after a move d5 is an incoming attack, torch responded with castle, d5, capturing the pawn isn't the best, let me show you why, takes takes and black can't push any of these pawn because I can simply push it, so black countered me with a5, b5 bishop here takes takes, d6, queen takes d6, knight e7 bishop b3 check king h8 a3 rook c8 rook to c1, look at the black position, his pieces combination is very passive and low quality. My pieces possess excellent maneuverability, knight here rook c4, bishop e4 and we will sacrifice the queen by capturing the knight, because after takes rook h3 will be a checkmate, and here if you dare to play queen h4, try to defend your position with queen g4, attacking to the pawn, we will play rook to h3, queen here rook f2, black plays c4, bishop to d1 to trap the queen, how can you protect your position? White carries plus 4.7 advantages in this position. Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced, so back to the all variations, torch played a5 first, b5 queen e8 rook to f3 to consider rook h3, using the h file, play knight c3 to bring the queen on h5, attacking to the pawn, push the g-pawn if needed, so after takes bishop can capture the knight with the queen support, so torch played d6, you shouldn't capture any of these pawns because it can break your pieces security, I played knight d4 to target the pawn, e takes d5 rook h3, if you capture the c-pawn, let me show you the variation, knight takes f5, queen h5 is coming to target the pawn so h6, but we will sacrifice the knight by capturing the h-pawn, takes takes to target the knight with two pieces, so rook f7, bishop takes g6 bishop back to f8, takes takes queen g4 check bishop blocks, e6 queen slides f5. Rook f8 bishop d4, targeting to the bishop, your position is collapse and it will be a checkmate in 9 moves, consider this as a chess puzzle. Share in the comments how white can checkmate black in 9 moves, and I'll review your response, back to the position, we have d takes e5, now you can't capture the pawn with knight because e4 can block the position, so I take the pawn, takes takes, attacking to the position, here if you play any 200 elo move, let me show you the variation, we will capture it, king runs queen comes, g6 to black that check, bishop takes knight takes rook to f1 check. The bishop can't block the check on f6 because queen h7 will lead checkmate, after king g8 it will be checkmate on h7 anyway, and chess friends, if you want to play like stockfish, then please like and subscribe to my youtube channel, it will improve your chess, back to the position, if black tries to play h6, then we will deliver a bishop check, king h8 and we will sacrifice the bishop on h6, takes queen d2 to target the pawn, 
So rook to f6 but we will sacrifice the queen on h6. Takes check king ups knight f5 check, the king is totally restricted and after king to f8, rook h8 will be a checkmate. The unexamined life is not worth living, so back to the position, torch played g6, bishop e6 king here c takes pawn, my bishop gets an extraordinary place, rook here knight c6, takes takes and look at my 5000 elo performance, how can black get relief? Torch played bishop to f6, rook c1 queen e7, and I sacrificed my bishop on b6, to push the pawn, it is my passed pawn supported by the double rooks. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.